Senate panel votes to make women register for draft. Giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, and And this is a video based upon another video I just watched, uh, put up by uh, Elder Kazak out of the Mississippi. Anyway, um, I immediately, uh, you know, took Senate panel votes and women registered draft and all that. And what came up was the Hill, which I believe he read from, used that same uh, online uh, magazine or pay, uh, news paper, whatever you call it, the Hill, which is a uh, prominent uh, paper, online uh, news company. Let me just read a little bit more. The Senate Armed Services Committee has approved language in its annual defense, and they talked about this years ago, but then they kind of put it under the um, proverbial rug. So now they're going to do it. And the reason why they're going to do it is that's going to fulfill Joel chapter 2 about the Northern Army. That's around about the 20th verse. I may or may not read it. If not, somebody can put it in the, in the uh, description, the comment section of this video. And that's going to cause a lot of big uproar in this country because you're going to have men that have daughters. They're not going to have their daughters be drafted in, in the military. Now, it's, understand, it's understandable that uh, men are drafted but women their daughters they're not gonna they're not gonna accept that so that's gonna cause a great uproar in this in this city Babylon the Great now if they do um, draft as many women as men into the military That'll keep the uh, morale of the men up because they're going to be raping those women. They're going to be popping those women and they're going to be raping those women. So rape is going to be big. Among you Jake women and among you Edomite women and, and you other women from the other nations that are American that, are, that that's a part of this great uh, melting pot that's getting ready to be stewed and cooked. And you see... This is this is heavy, man, because we've been saying this for years, and now we, we see it coming to pass. The average person that you walk around and go on the elevator and you, you know, you walk down the street, you go to the store, you're behind somebody, and every once in a while you say a word, a couple of words to certain people. Now, these people are, go they're blind. You can see it. You can see that they don't know what's what the hell is going on. They have no clue as to the fact that this damn fucking place Babylon the Great will be utterly destroyed and you will be destroyed in, um, in it anyway let me finish finish reading it said the Senate Armed Services Committee has approved uh, language in its annual defense policy bill that would require women to register for the draft the National Defense Authorization Act, NDAA, approved by the committee behind closed doors Wednesday, amends, I'm going to see how long before this is big in the news, amends the Military or Selective Services Service Act to require the registration of women for selective service, according to a summary release uh, Thursday. And this article was just put up. Hot off the presses, baby. The United States has not instituted a draft since the Vietnam War. And you know how many people got messed up in the mind, came back. You know, prior to the Vietnam conflict, man, Americans were not messed up off of drugs. When they came back from the Vietnam conflict, which was a police action, they got they, they they came back all drugged up. 
And uh, Pentagon officials have repeatedly said they intend to keep the force all volunteer, of course, unless, unless they need you, unless people are not volunteering. You know, that's when you set up a, a draft, when people do not volunteer. So you have to force them uh, into serving uh, in the military. Anyway, um, I just want to go to the scripture. Now, now, now I mentioned Joel chapter 2, verse 20. As a matter of fact, I'm going to bring it up anyway. But I will remove far, uh, far off from you the Northern Army. The Northern Army represents the United States military, the forces of the military. And will drive him, the army, the, into a land barren and desolate that's um, in the middle of uh, the... Uh, you got the Red Sea, then you got west of that, you got the Nile, and then in front of him is going to be the Euphrates. Because the angels, the four archangels are in the Euphrates. Uh, that's in um, Revelation the ninth chapter and uh, also Revelation the 16th chapter. It speaks about the, the, um, the river Euphrates. Because that's where the action is going to really pop off. So keep your eyes on the Middle East. And we'll drive him into a land barren and desolate. With his face toward the East Sea. Which is uh, the Euphrates and his hinder part. The back of him. Uh, toward the utmost sea. The utmost sea is the, um, the Red Sea. And his stink shall come up. And his ill savor shall come up because he hath done great things. Because America hath great things. I tell you that in Daniel 7, um, they spoke great words. Let me jump down to the 28th verse. Now, a brother had put up the brother from Hawaii. He had put up uh, a video that he had a dream. And he said he saw myself and others in a dream. And he saw us being beamed up. Anyway, it says, uh, the 28th verse of Joel 2. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my flesh upon all flesh, pour out my spirit upon all flesh, excuse me, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And even other nations have visions. The Most High gives visions to Edomites and other nations as well. But he's mostly going to give them visions out <coughs> to Israelites. <coughs> it says, uh, your daughters shall, shall prophesy. Now that means... Prophecy means to say something before it happens. It doesn't mean a woman's going to go out there, go out there on the highways and the byways and be out there for three, four hours uh, prophesying. It's not talking about that. So these women that are doing their own videos, they're clearly going off and the most high is going to do The most high might just draft y'all and get y'all the fuck out of here. So you can eat the missiles in the Middle East. Your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions, which is the same thing, visions and dreams. You can have a dream because you had a, ate a bad tuna fish sandwich from uh, uh, from uh, Subway's. Stay out of that motherfucking place, Subway's, man. I ain't, man, I don't, the last time I ate at Subway's was maybe 20 years ago. I don't eat at that place. 
those chain restaurants, you know, the Papa John's and the uh, the uh, Domino's and uh, the Pizza Huts, that's all corporate food, man. That shit is man, that's man-made. That's not real cheese. That's not real dough. But you got people, and it's addictive. You got people that go crazy. If you're going to eat any pizza, you stay away from pizza altogether. But if you got a taste of pizza, go to a local pizza place that deal with actual ingredients. Not this shit made up in a... Esau can make anything in a, in a laboratory, man. He can, he can take turkey. <laughs> you know, you go to Wendy's. If you get the chicken salmon from Wendy's, this shit has... It falls apart in sections. I ain't never ate no chicken that falls apart in sections. Straight up sections, man. You bite of it, and you got you got to take a bite, a bite, a bite from it, and a whole. It's a section. It's a straight section, man. So that ain't no real chicken. Twenty nine verse, and also upon the servants, upon and upon the handmaids. In those days, will I pour out my spirit. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. Now the other day I saw the moon was blood red. They didn't say too much about it in the news. Uh, Before the great and terrible day of the Lord. Thirty second verse. It says, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and Jerusalem, and Mount Zion and Jerusalem rep- represent Israel. The, the New Jerusalem coming down from heaven, pursuant to Revelation 21, are the Israelites coming back down to the earth to take the world. To establish a new kingdom. It shall shall be delivered. Deliverance. As the Lord hath said. And in the remnant. Whom the Lord shall call. So there's only a remnant. That's going to be saved. Now I'm going to read this. And I'm going to close it. This is Jeremiah 51. I'll start at 20, 29. I'll jump around. Jeremiah 51 verse 29. And the land shall tremble and sorrow. You really should read the whole chapter. For every purpose of the Lord, Yahweh shall be performed against Babylon, which is the new Babylon. Babylon the Great, which is America. To make the land, the, the land of Babylon a desolation without inhabitants. That never happened to the ancient pagan Babylon. When Darius put the order out to kill the king of Babylon. This is, that's, this is not talking about that by Babylon. 30th verse. The mighty men of Babylon have gone to fight. They have remained in their holes. Their, their might have failed. They became as women. Then you're going to have women in the military. And you already have women that have joined. A lot of you so-called black women have joined the military. You're going to die right over there in the Middle East. They have burned her dwelling places. Her bars are broken. Her bars represent her defense system. The Most High is going to knock out your defense system. And with all this hacking, they'll hack your defense system. The Russians or one of them nations that hate you, they will hack your defense system where it won't work. At one post shall run to meet another, and one messenger to meet another, to show the king of Babylon that his city is taken at one end. Thirty second verse. And that the uh, passages are stopped. And the reeds they have burned with fire, and the men of war are affrighted. 33rd verse 
For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the power of Israel, the daughter of Babylon is like a threshing floor. It is time to thresh her. Thresh her. You know what I'm going to do? Let me look up threshing floor. I know what it means, but let me just see. I just want to go a little bit more into it. It's important to look up them words. Garan is the uh, Hebrew word. It means dressing floor, barn, barn floor, corn floor, avoid place. Uh, it also says an open area. So America is going to be like an open area. It's going to be a desert, you know, as far as the eyes can see. So let me read 33 again. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the, the Most High of Israel, the, the daughter of Babylon is like, the daughter, not Babylon, but the daughter of Babylon is like a dressing floor, empty place. Uh, it it is time to thresh her or empty her <clears throat> yet a little while and the time of her harvest shall come so in the harvest time you separate the wheat from the tares and the corn from this and that and then you take what you take and then, then that, that threshing floor is empty until the next harvest jumping down to the 36th verse therefore but thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I will plead, bring judgment. I will plead thy cause and take vengeance for thee. And I will dry up her sea. Any, any waters in America, the different rivers in Mississippi, all these different waters are going to be dried up. <clears throat> and make her springs dry. 37 verse and Babylon should become heaps a dwelling place for dragons that's in um, Isaiah 34 uh, that's also in um, Isaiah 13 an astonishment and in hissing without an inhabitants I will bring them down like lambs to the slaughter like rams with her goats you sacrifice those lambs and those goats with fire so America is nothing but a a uh, altar that you uh, that you burn animals on pursuant to Isaiah 34 and in the altar you have the priest and the uh, prophets they're standing on the altar condemning this place and that's all we're supposed to do 43rd verse her cities are desolate a dry land and a wilderness a land wherein no man dwelleth neither doeth any son of man pass thereby the only living things will be these desert creatures <clears throat> excuse me 45th verse my people go ye out of the midst of her and deliver ye every man his soul from the fierce anger of the Lord so the most high that's a calling the angel is going to call we're going to get beamed up and then the destruction is going to come 
47 verse Therefore behold the days come that I will do judgment upon the graven images of Babylon and her whole land shall be confounded and all and confounded meaning to Babylon and all her slain shall fall in the midst of her so nobody's going to escape 49 verse as Babylon has caused this, the slain of Israel to fall that's what you did so at Babylon shall fall the slain of all the earth because it's going to be a world war Fifty-two. Wherefore, behold, the days come, save the Lord, that I will ju do judgment upon her graven images, and through all her land, the wounded shall groan. And this is all going to take place in one hour. Uh, though Babylon should mount up to heaven, it had the. Uh, was in the last week the last seven days you had uh, Jeff Bezos had his rocket ship go up into space and you had uh, this guy uh, from Virgin Galactic go up into space but they ain't gonna escape they gotta deal with the angels they have a plan to build colonies on the moon and Mars it, that's, that ain't gonna happen they're gonna get knocked out of heaven though Babylon should mount up to heaven and though she should fortify the heights of a strength, and that's what she's trying to do with a space program. Yet from me shall, shall spoilers come unto her, save the Most High. They're going to spoil their plans. 54 verse. A sound of a cry coming from Babylon and great destruction from the land of the Chaldeans. So you got these so-called biblical scholars reading this and saying this is talking about ancient Babylon. It's not talking about ancient Babylon. And they know it's not talking about ancient Babylon because this didn't happen. It was a surgical strike that happened to the king of Babylon and his men because they were full off the king's food and, um, and drink in them. And the order, order, the, um, order was passed down by Darius to, to kill, kill the king and his lords and um, there was a sign written on the wall the hand on the wall meaning meaning tickle it says because 56 verse because the spoil has come upon her um, even upon Babylon and her mighty men are taken every and her woman every one of their bows is broken so they're not their missiles are not going to work for the most part it's not going to work for the Lord power of of uh, recompense shall surely re requite it. Sixty third and sixty fourth verse, and I'm a close. And it shall be when thou has made an end of reading this book that thou shalt bind a stone upon it and cast it into the midst of the Euphrates now what should come to mind Revelation chapter 18 verse I believe that's verse 21 matter of fact let me go ahead and get that so we almost out this bitch I'll start at the 20th verse. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles, and ye holy apostles, and it didn't say priests, it said holy apostles and prophets, for the most high have avenged you on her. 21st verse, and, and I, and a 
mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea saying thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all so now if you come across Jer uh, Jeremiah 50 verse 63 and it shall come to and it shall come to be when thou has made an end of reading this book that thou shalt bind a stone to it and cast it into the midst of Euphrates and Jeremiah did that which represent the Tao and, and Jeremiah didn't even know that it was talking about um, America in the future because it wasn't for the prophets to know these things it's for us it was for the prophets to write these visions down and it was, it, it was for us the latter day prophets because we are the prophets coming back and we're telling you what it means last verse 64, 64th verse and thou shalt say thus shall Babylon sink and shall not rise from the evil that I will bring upon her and they shall be weary thus far are the words of Jeremiah and with that I'm going to say Shalom.